Welcome back, guys, to our no damage run of Little Nemo the Dream Master for the NES. We are now on dream number four, which is the Night Sea. Hey, Nemo, if you share your candy with the hermit crabs, they'll take you where you want to go. Well, thanks for the tip, I guess. As you might expect from the name of the stage, it's going to be all the water and everything. As that uh, fellow back there just said, feed your candy to the hermit crabs to get some help. The hermit crabs can hit enemies with their pincers, and uh, if you fall for long enough, they'll turn upside down, and if you land in sand, you can dig your way around. Lure this tadpole over here and then make a run for it, or make a dig for it, I guess, however you want to look at it. Abandon the hermit crab and then come up here, lure this tadpole over here to the left. And then, uh, stun it with a piece of candy and feed this flounder some candy. Flounders have no attacks of their own, but they swim really quickly, so... Uh, you can't really kill any enemies, but you can use your maneuverability to get away from them really easily. Go in this area here, that you'll come up to a split path here. Take the upper one. It may look like a dead end, but it's really not. If you need a 1-up, there's one right there. I don't really need it though, so I'm just going to ignore it and keep on moving. Lure that fish up here and then make a swim for it down here to get the key. Head over here to the right and you're out of this little area. From here, head back over here to the left and then make your way up. You're going to have to abandon your flounder here in just a moment or two. Abandon is such a strong word, it's more like you're turning them into dust. After getting the frog, be careful with your jump so that you don't impale yourself into the spikes. You only need to collect five keys in order to finish this level. Get rid of the frog a little bit uh, up here on the slope and uh, toss candy down to the hermit crab and get ready to uh, get help from him. You gotta dig into the sand to get your next key down there. There we go. Time to make our way up through here. Let the flying fish go out of the water and then leave. This game has really good music and this stage is no exception. It's really kind of peaceful sounding. I really like it. And right here, you're now at the end of the stage. Yeah, for being a underwater stage, you'd think that it'd be more open and would take you a little longer to complete, but, uh, oh well. Still a pretty fun stage. What's gotten into you? Why can't you... stay in bed? Well, that is it for part four.